the YES cluster, which stands for Youth Empowered by Skills and started in November 2013, brought together six partners, all focused on empowering youth in various ways. The aim of the cluster was to bring together know-how and best practices developed within various employment-focused 2Cs projects to help young people with fewer opportunities get closer to the job market. Based on this combined knowledge, the YES project partners designed a toolbox to help businesses and organisations engage with young people in need of experience and skills. The toolbox consists of a handbook to offer individual solutions and support, step-by-step -step methods and varied approaches specifically focused on young people far from the traditional employment path. The YES cluster, which means Youth Empowered by Skills, is about all the tools that regards uh, informal education and also formal education, but the idea is really to develop soft skills among young people. All the skills that are required by employers but are not well developed by traditional education. So we want to develop alternative ways to employment uh, for youngsters with less opportunities or who do not find uh, the, their place. What we, what we find out is that uh, a lot of dropouts don't know uh, don't have any solutions anymore. So what we do with this, uh, with this system is uh, to empower them, to give them more individual strength by coaching and guidance them that he knows somebody is, is I'm not alone, I'm not a stand -alone, in a standalone situation, but somebody is helping me to find out and to find out my talents. Unemployed young people can benefit from a competence assessment called TDI talent development instrument, which focuses equally on educational background as on practical and social skills. Through different pathways such as studies and internships, international mobility and volunteering, the TDI aims to create new employment opportunities for young people. The talent development instrument is an online tool to help youngsters with a distance from the labour market define their talents and make an action plan. Together with a coach, the assessee creates a profile via the online tool. There are three phases in the TDI. The first one is personal details, the second one is individual development plan and the third one is the individual action plan. And while filling out those phases, the assessee can of course add some things, but the assessor needs to validate the information. First, the assessee fills out all personal data alone or, if necessary, in collaboration with the assessor. All personal data such as name, address, formal and informal educational background, work history, languages, skills and other experience such as voluntary work are entered. After a conversation with the assessee, the assessor adds information related to the assessee's interests, personality, motivation, competences that are to be acquired, limitations and labour market relevance to the TDI. While focusing on what the person wants, the TDI also looks at the areas a person wants to develop and grow in. At this stage, the assessor may conclude that some components require deeper attention. To verify some data, it's also possible to uh, upload some documents, such as, for example, diplomas or other certificates you have. Based on the outcome of the uh, two phases before, the personal data and the individual development plan, the action plan will uh, finally come out. The action plan is something concrete to work on. Part of the individual action plan is the carrying out of certain action points that help the youngster get closer to his or her objectives. This can be, for example, inquiring about future training possibilities or making appointments at companies or voluntary organisations. The talent development instrument is a continuous process. It's a self-analysis with all your strengths and weaknesses, opportunities, but also the threats. The SSC um, is going to look together with the assessor if what he wants is also relevant in the labour market. So he has certain motivations, but also limitations, as well as the labour market has and the economic situation at this time. So those two things are connected to each other and eventually the plan is to get the youngster employed, of course. 